Und im Osten ist der Feind bis zur Linie Lichtenberg, Marlsdorf, Karlshorst gelangt. Mit dem Angriff Steiners wird das alles in Ordnung kommen. Mein Führer, Steiner... Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Wer schickt sie? Das hier ist Baden! Sie seien befehlt! Ich mein Führer, ich kann nicht zulassen, dass die Soldaten, die für Sie verbringen... Ist das Feiglinge, Verräter, Versager! Mein Führer, was Sie da sagen, ist ungeheuerlich. Sie nennen sich Generale, weil Sie Jahre auf Militärakademie zugebracht haben, nur um zu lernen, wie man Messer und Gabel hält. Es ist unmöglich, unter diesen Umständen zu führen. Es ist aus. Dobri denkia delia. Lubitel 166 B. <laughs> Here's another film camera that I bloody bought on eBay. I think it's from the 80s. And it's a twin SLR. Uh, it's like a, another toy, kind of a toy camera, but a bit more advanced than a toy camera. And this is it. <laughs> so. I think it's from the 80s, I'm not sure. Jerry, is it from the 80s? And it's one of those ones where you look down and it's got the viewfinder and stuff and the twin lens reflex, which that's what you look through and that's what it, that's the actual lens that it shoots. I went and bought some Kodak T-Max 100, it's black and white, uh, 120 film. So this is a medium format. Uh, this this, uh, this is a medium format camera. It came with a little uh, release cable uh, strap. So really what you do then is, is you, oh shit, go like that and then you <clears throat> look down. The prism's a little bit wonky, very hard to focus. And it's got this little black thing in the circle in the middle where you're supposed to focus, but I couldn't get it to focus. But anyway, so I'll just use that hyperfocal thing. So there you have the aperture, shutter speed, all the dials down below to change it. Self timer there. When you want to shoot, you prime it up and then bang. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, just like that. Hey, Jerry. Jerry, you ready? There's another way you can do it, where you go like this. Uh, you hold that down. And you can shoot like that, little hole there and you can frame it up or there's another way you can just use that and frame it I think that's called like a sports frame or something uh, doesn't stay up there yeah, but the best way is to look down into the prism and use that to, to focus and to frame up this is how you wind it up there's a little uh, viewfinder there to know what um, film you're up to a little there's a little hot shoe here so I can slip my meter in like that and <laughs> you know meter because there's no meter obviously in here made in the USSR <laughs> all right Jerry you want to help huh you want to help me load the film, Jerry? Hey. All right, so you've got a little thingamajig up here. Just opens up like that. The take-up rule goes up the top there. These things 
uh, pop out like that and then you can take that reel out but this is the reel that takes it all up Kodak T-Max 100 now I like the 100 because normally it's always uh, very bright outside so I thought I'd get a lower speed that's all they had anyway uh, just got lucky and typical today is bloody hugely overcast <laughs> I've always had that 400 speed and it's been too bloody bright outside I want to go out today and it's so overcast and dark I've got a bloody 100 speed anyway I don't think it really matters now this has been sitting in the fridge for about three months while I've been waiting for this bloody thing to come back from to come from Russia click and so the bottom part now has to accept the film and you want to do it that way so the film faces the the box so let's pop that in there's a little metal flap and you've got to put that inside so the metal flap pushes up and keeps it solidly in place and then you click these in okay. now you got to get that ah, biz, biz jet <laughs> I'm learning Russian biz jet and you've got a little slot there and you got to get that in there all right took me a while but the little flap wouldn't catch on anyway it's all good now so that's pretty tight you've got to open the window you can see when you're moving then you've got to look for the one oh man I was freaking out there it took ages and I didn't see any numbers or anything but now I saw the arrow you can just barely see the one there, bloody stupid thing. So, bizbet, bizdet. So lucky I never went any further. That's it. So, and then obviously close this. So no light comes in. Fully loaded. Hey, Jerry, we're ready to go for a big photo walk with my Russian Lubitel 166B from... When did you say it was from again, Jerry? Okay, ISO 250. You can change the shutter speed here. Yes, Jerry. You ready? Wait. Jerry, wait. 1.4 meters that's miles away what the hell is that Joe you've got to go all the way back here I've got to measure f 4.5 Jerry are you are you watching at f I mean f 4.5 it's 1 60th of a speed Jerry are you gonna look Jerry are you gonna look the funny thing is, everything's back to front, left to right. Jerry. Eh, Ducci, eh, più vicini. Eh, sordi, miserable. Strap! Strap! Da fluten, play when that cheese is cracking! Da fluten, play the banana! Da fluten, the banana! Da nu gut, das kann about banana! Da da banana stunt, dann strap mit seiner Ton, dann schieß the banana! To banana? Da dicke Buben, ich denk an das Straf mit seiner... Banana. Banana. Dein Big Buben. Erla, fein, dass dieses Krakers mit der Alten. Banana. 